Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is same series of laser web assembly and this session will learn how we can get a confirmation of on delete click so let's see the demo once click so see you are able to see that uh, confirmation dialog box and once you know so it should not be delete and once you click yes it should be delete so similar see no for no yes for yes so this will learn in this session so so far if you knew first time came in my channel so definitely I may recommend to you go to my channel and uh, you know recommend to this let me zoom in and this is the playlist I created okay so watch this one because I, I explained everything like from the starting to end till now whatever we implementation actually so far so all of things i just create a session little little session so yeah so let's get the demo or let's get the implementation okay so this is the same uh this is the same uh, project which so far we are worked on okay and also i mentioned this uh, repository in my video description okay so you can check out and take it take the latest okay and let me save and just run run the application and see what we have and then we'll start our implementation so it's just open yeah so see these already have the view but view i think it's not important but yeah when you click the delete see yeah okay it's debugging over here see debugger point over here so remove the debugger continue see it is delete okay so let me delete one more time yeah so we'll implement that confirmation dialog box once you click uh, to delete because delete is a very sensitive uh, you know information so that nobody user can lose the data okay so that's why its confirmation is very important okay so let's start so let's stop the application okay and uh, okay what we need to do first go to your pages and card list okay we'll going to do in this session very simple but yeah later on we'll do actually the you know advanced level okay so inside that okay inside the you know list what we'll do we can yeah not inside just outside actually first we require you know one property so that we can maintain okay uh, once you delete able to click or not okay so okay so uh, what need to do we have to create a one property first okay inside the code block so let me make it to private and bool and make it a show delete confirmation okay based on this uh, you know uh, based on this property will maintain actually uh, the dialog box should open or not okay so by default it should be false so make it false okay and then what need to do uh, okay then we have to create actually uh, some some uh, style on that dialog box okay so let me create that let me create a deep okay it's a simple simple style we need to create it okay and here we need to pass we have to create some class one class so that you no know, based on the design we can set some design over here so let me call it to confirmation dialogues model okay okay or instead of wasting time we just copy the style for my demo project okay and okay so see this is simple okay what we are doing we creating a div okay inside the div we have a you know some uh, confirmation uh, 
deletion sub tag and this is that one say so that user can able to see okay are you sure want to we are taking some confirmation okay and then we have button okay two button like one is the delete button okay and delete blog so we make it to delete blog and this is a cancel delete okay so this two event we required actually so that we can if user can cancel so then go back to your list page and if it is delete uh, if user choose the delete and yes so then data should be delete okay so what need to do next next uh, we have to record one more property okay so that whatever delete id we can store actually see here the last time we getting the delete id on this you know binding the list and then we using the lambda expression on click and getting that whatever whatever delete item we want so that uh, item id we are getting from like the here so this id we have to need first store so how we can do that let me create a property or field okay integer let get is to delete id okay so this delete id okay so once i'll click that delete okay this delete uh, method the event okay we have to store this id to here okay so this is first step so go to your delete okay here and let me comment this guy okay let me comment as of now this guy and just set it to whatever our things okay delete id delete id equal to id okay so that is done so this is done and then what need to do uh, we need one more property to set over here first we set at the delete okay whatever delete id we set it over here and one more thing we have to set like see this is by default false so if it is false so let me check one more things over here okay so if if this dialog box when should appearing it should appearing once this dialog box is confirmation is true okay so that one also need to okay so that one also we have to set true okay on this click so let me set up condition okay the condition is done okay now this property should be also true then the dialogs appearing over here so let me set it true okay so this is done so that means once i click delete uh delete blog or or we can change it to delete blog to like delete confirmation model okay delete confirmation okay model delete confirmation or just delete confirmation i think that is fine okay leave it to that guy and this to change in here okay okay then fine so what we are doing we just get it the id and we set it to true so once it's set it true this dialog box will appear appearing okay and then what need to do we have to uh, the delete event okay so the delete event what we'll do so once i click the delete block so this you know uh, this delete block now when i click yes actually when i click yes so the delete delete the block event will call and it will do whatever is previously done okay so simple like take same example I mean same method i think avoid okay and then the delete button or delete event okay delete block okay and set it to whatever we have like we have uh, we have we what need to perform this two need things to perform okay so let call this service okay this service okay where we'll get that id we will get this id over here see 
because this is we set right after once I click confirmation so I get that ID and this ID need to pass over this method so that this service will call and service can delete and finally load the uh, our list okay so this is a load list method okay if you go to here see load list method simply call the service and get the updated data okay and one more thing we have to do once uh, once the delete the item okay so we have to close we have to uh, close this dialog box as well because see this is true so that means it will always will open okay so how we can do that simply what need to do we can just call a method okay we can create a method so that we can maintain that method to uh, uh, like model when should up close every time okay so let me create a method private wide and just close confirmation okay close confirmation okay this is done and then what need to set over this method simply that show the show to you know uh, this false so that once complete it should be false okay this is false and then finally the delete id should be delete id should be set as zero or if you make it null level so you can set a null okay so that we can we can double make sure our delete item id is not there okay once we have set it over here okay so this need to call okay this need to call once it's delete completed and it should be called here okay that's it okay this is done and one more thing it's pending this cancel event okay cancel delete event so let me create that one also so private wide cancel event okay what we'll do that cancel event nothing simply this close confirmation uh, method will call it will set to false so that our pop-up will down means hide and the delete item should be zero okay that's it okay let me run the application and see what or, or before run the application let me check that build the solution so is there any issue or not okay there is uh, no issue it is succeed let me zoom in okay see this is succeed and um, now try to run will show you also as a debug mode like how is that working so see what is uh, like our application is running and uh, same it's proper you know loading the data and click the delete oh my god see so confirmation is dialog box is appearing but when you click no see it is gone but it is not appearing on this in the middle and in the center and over that you know uh, first should come in this confirmation box and behind our list okay so that model should not behave in like that you know why but yeah functionality is working same like if you click okay if you click that yes so see the data is gone okay let me again yes it is gone delete no nothing happened okay but okay one issue the design so design not should appearing on the top okay so how we can do that let me open again our application and uh, this is our application okay see what we did what we have done so far so we create actually so this is actually some create a class okay but in this class does not have any implementation okay so that's some style we have to need to run so go to your web root and c sharp c s css file and go to your main app.cs file and go down we have to put some you know some style so let me copy that style so that 
we can be staying a time okay let me paste it over here okay that's it so see what we are doing just confirmation dialog box class position is fixed top 50 left 50 transform and background color whatever we want we can put it padding we have border okay and also that um, you know margin right to you know model button whatever button over here just we set it uh, you know margin right to 10 pixel okay and hot reload should work let me open and check it okay and uh, let me refresh one more time and uh, let me delete okay it's still not there that means see uh, that hot reload is not working in this for you know the style thing so let me close save run one more time okay let me try okay it's still not working might be some issue on this class okay so let me copy this class might be i by mistakely i put it the wrong name over here let me paste over here okay and let me run okay do f5 first because sometime actually pre-download the all the you know style or everything on the browser so that's why might be it's not reflecting but see now it's working as expected ex expected okay so now see if you know nothing happen if you yes so that's gone if you yes it's gone nothing happen okay yes it's gone okay and also you want to change that uh, to okay so let me side by side show you so if you change to that to you know uh, some other style so that is a style part so i'm not going to there but yeah let me change it to whatever style you want so for example wall of it okay see a hot reload is working whatever style you trying to choose it is reflecting okay so whatever things you want see it's perfect okay so nothing happened delete yes it's gone okay so this is sufficient for this session okay and next session will implement actually as of now when you click the view nothing happened okay so we'll implement next session in view okay so keep tuning and don't forget to subscribe and like and share